Okay, uh, we're on uh, question uh, seven now from the uh, June 2009 uh, BY1 paper. Uh, in this video, we're actually looking at part B. Um, the part A has been done in a separate uh, video clip. Uh, part B then, what are immobilized enzymes? Describe the advantages of their use and how they are used in biosensors. Okay, so uh, immobilized enzymes then uh, are basically enzymes that have been um, entrapped or fixed onto an inert uh, onto an inert matrix. Okay, um, that's basically what immobilized enzymes are. Um, okay, you don't need to go into uh, uh, much more detail about that. You could talk about perhaps alginate beads. Okay. Um, but uh, you do need to mention a new matrix uh, for that. Uh, so the, the, the you could get perhaps two marks for that. So, so the uh, rest of the uh, marks, the eight marks, are to look at the advantages of their use. Now, there's lots of advantages to immobilized enzymes. Okay, all of those have been covered uh, in the notes. Um, so again, I don't think this this essay is technically very difficult. All you again have to do is to write down in sentence form the advantages of the use of immobilized enzymes. So just uh, a, a few pointers to remind you of the advantages. Um, for example, they can tolerate a, uh, a wider range of pH. Okay, um, They can actually uh, withstand and are more stable um, at higher temperatures. Okay, Remember that the uh, immobilization of the enzyme actually supports its three-dimensional structure and prevents it from uh, denaturing as easily at higher temperatures. Okay. Um, again, the other advantage of them is they're highly specific. Um, they're, they're very, very sensitive. They can detect very low levels of substances in the blood and urine. Okay. Um, so there's a, there's a whole host of advantages that uh, you can write down in there. Um, so the question also mentions um, their use in biosensors. Uh, so I just mentioned that um, immobilized enzymes are sensitive and they can detect low levels of molecules in blood and urine. Well, that, of course, is, is a use of a biosensor there. Okay, so the other thing you could put in the essay um, is a little bit more about biosensors, perhaps a little bit about their structure. Okay, you could talk about the transducer. All right, the transducer is the part of the biosensor that absorbs the products of the enzyme catalyzed reaction and turns those uh, products into electrical signals. Okay, so uh, uh, pretty good essay again, in my opinion. Um, if you've done your revision, if you've uh, done plenty of past papers and done some additional activities, um, I don't feel there's any reason why you can't score highly um, on this um, uh, immobilized enzyme question. Uh, so I shall uh, write out an answer for you and then we can take a look at uh, the mark scheme. Okay, um, uh, I've typed out uh, an answer there where I've... Uh, <clears throat> tackled um, every aspect of the uh, examiner's question. Uh, I've started off by describing the uh, uh, immobilized enzyme. I've said they're enzymes that have been fixed or trapped uh, to an inert matrix such as algen uh, alginate beads. Okay. I've said that Im immobilized enzymes uh, are, typo, are more stable at higher temperatures so you can achieve uh, faster reaction rates at higher temperatures. Okay, um, I've said about them being more tolerant to a wider range of pHs. Uh, immobilized enzymes are more easily recovered, so can be reused in industrial processes. Uh, I've talked about the fact that you can use several immobilized enzymes together to produce a variety of products. Okay, so I've just really regurgitated everything that I've mentioned in the notes I've produced um, uh, to get uh, the full marks in this essay. Um, I've talked about biosensors being highly sensitive um, and uh, highly specific. Okay, important terms um, to, to put in. 
I talked about the transducer in the biosensor, which absorbs the products of the enzyme catalyzed reaction and then converts those products into electrical signals. Uh, importantly, as well, I've mentioned <clears throat> that the um, electrical signal is directly uh, proportional to the concentration of the molecule being detected. Okay, uh, and then I've mentioned as well that diabetics can use biosensors um, to detect uh, blood glucose uh, levels. Okay, so uh, if we have a quick look at the, the marking scheme then, uh, you can uh, work your way through that. Okay, what I would recommend as with all these essay questions is that you write out uh, the answer in your own words, repeat it over and over again, mark it, make sure you uh, get all of these uh, marking points in. Again, I wouldn't have included every marking point in the essay, okay, um, but uh, the more you practice, okay, you should try and get uh, uh, at least every marking point in your essay, okay. So um, just scrolling down uh, to the end of the uh, mark scheme, okay. Uh, so that goes up to marking uh, point uh, O there, okay. Um, there's the transducer bit. Uh, this is one I haven't mentioned. Uh, you can use biosensors for environmental monitoring of various uh, uh, substances, uh, perhaps in rivers and so on. Okay, we've mentioned medical diagnosis, uh, diabetes. Okay, um, so um, I hope you found that uh, uh, video tutorial uh, helpful.